Alrighty, alrighty, welcome everyone. Terrence Freeman here, Terencio Freeman, aka Crypto T, all about the blockchain technology. Let's get into it. If it's your first time here, you know exactly what to do. Smash that subscribe button, bang that get notifications bell, and also please smash the likes. That way it'll help build up my channel, as I can't do that without you guys. Thank you so very much for doing exactly that. Now let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Takashi69, set to receive no jail time and witness protection. This is coming by way of Unilad. This is the first time I'm touching base on this topic in regards to this young man. So it says here that Takashi69 is set to receive a lesser sentence for his arsenal of crimes if he cooperates with the American judicial system according to uh, his published deal. In fact, the rapper's prison ordeal may be over a lot sooner than expected, despite his pleading guilty to nine federal counts stemming from his involvement with the Nine Trey Gangster Bloods gang, including racketeering, conspiracy, firearm offenses, and narcotics trafficking. Takashi 69 whose real name is Daniel Hernandez, was facing a minimum of 47 years in prison and a, ma and a maximum of life behind bars after inputting a guilty plea last month. Those are football numbers, ladies and gentlemen. But his newly released plea deal, details of which were released on February 1st, seems to show he's been given the chance to forego prosecution in exchange for information. According to a newly unsealed plea deal, the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York has agreed not to prosecute the defendant for the crimes the defendant has told the government about in exchange for Hernandez's full cooperation. In his plea deal, well, in his guilty plea, the 22-year-old admitted to assisting the Nine Trey Gangster Bloods in its attempts, well, in its attempt to kill a rival gang member, paying an associate to shoot Chief Keith, whose real name is, is uh, Keith Farrell Cozart, as well as taking part in an armed robbery and selling heroin. The plea deal, which you can read in full online, I'll leave you guys the link down below, also states Hernandez is, is expected to further implicate uncharged violent person, uncharged violent persons, and so for his own safety, they will explore possibilities of witness protection. And in a quote here, the plea deal also says the government has represented that Mr. Hernandez is cooperating against multiple violent people associated with the same criminal enterprise of which he admits or will soon apparently admit being a member. It is understood that the defendant's cooperation is likely to reveal the activities of individuals that witness protection may be required at a later date. As Hernandez has been willing to testify against his co-defendants, the polarizing rapper could be free as early as January 2020. Take a good look, ladies and gentlemen, all you inspiring rappers out there. Don't be who you're not. There is a prime example of what can possibly happen. It is ultimately it is ultimately up to the judge to determine uh, Hernandez's fate and sentencing on January 24th, 2020. But the prosecutors say if the defendant cooperates in sharing information about the nine trade gangster bloods, the government will file a motion for a sentence below any mandatory minimum. It is unclear how much time prosecutors will ask Hernandez to serve for the crimes he has admitted to committing. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. Also, hit that get notifications bell so you stay updated. And please smash the likes, guys. I will greatly appreciate it. And many blessings to each and every one of you guys. Terencio Freeman here, a.k.a. Crypto T. I'll leave you guys the link to the uh, plea deal documents down below in the description. You can read it in full. And with that being said, guys, many blessings. Thank you again. Make sure that you do subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.